me and Gordo to stop by and fill it out. I don't think we ever did. But yeah, he's he's done all that. I mean, he welded a bunch of stuff on the prelude. He's he got a fat him and his dad on a fab shop like me and my dad on the get by speed. He has a t-shirt and stuff, powder coating stuff. Like he is a very skilled person, and he's an amazing person. And I appreciate everything he does. So all of us together, we're we're more than just a team. Ran his personal best Wednesday. Sunday, Jamie blew his car up. Well, he didn't blow it up, but he one two one it, dropped, well, didn't drop him, but bent all the valves, exploded the oil pump, and I had, so I changed the, the mate, so I changed the rod bearings, I put a new oil pump on it, 
and I put a new head on it yesterday. The day before yesterday, Tuesday. So I got the car pretty much completely rebuilt all on Tuesday. Retimed it, made sure everything was perfect. And then Derek went out with the strain gauge, the clutch slipper, both that we just put on them. Derek, I mean, Jamie was doing the test pass. He was making sure everything worked. And the strain worked and the slipper worked. They both worked great. fun. Alright, so the lights are kind of warming up. It's really dark, but once they get brightened up, you'll be able to tell where I'm standing right now is where the huge pile of parts was. See all the floors all clean, all clean. I mean, there's two carts right here, but I mean, we moved, I don't know if you can tell, this table was all the way in the corner behind me. I mean, this is how this was looking. This is how this was looking. Reorganized up there a little bit. Uh, didn't add too much here. We, we added two engines, these two right here, and then we got all this added over here. We've got some totes. We've got some parts. We've got some cranks, H head, H intake, boom, blocks, heads, blocks, transmissions, cranks underneath the bottom shelf. 
added this shelf as well. This is all full engines on the bottom, and then this is all our wiring harnesses right here. This is the broom we were sweeping. Uh, one transmission, S2000 transmission, if you can tell. Um, you look at all those trans, H trans, K trans, B trans. I think one K all wheel drive in there. Blocks on blocks on blocks. Look at this. We got an H series. We got an H series. We got a B series. We got a B series. Freaking B series. Another B series. A K series. Actually, that's a K series. I don't know why I said that. Another K series. That looks like a GSR or B16 K series. H series. Uh, LS. LS again. That's B18 if you don't know. Another B8. Oh, that's a GSR. If you don't know, you don't know, bro. Another uh, H series here, I think it is. Yeah, it looks like it based on this water tube. K series. Heads for days. These are 350Z heads. My dad used to do a lot of 350Zs. He used to actually offer and sell a turbo kit for the Maximas because they come with a 350Z engine, the same engine. They come with the, the same VQ, the whole nine, same thing, it's in the Maxima. So he used to offer a turbo kit for the Maximas because I mean, they're front wheel drive 350Zs practically. So he used to offer that. Uh, I've got, I think four, maybe five heads of 350Z heads. Uh, yeah, tons of blocks up here. I mean, these, this whole row right here is B series. This whole row is H series. This whole row is H series. So rows D series, this has one B series in it, and then the rest of these are K, and then there's concrete F20 right here. That's out of the bully. That's a concrete S2000 engine from the bully. So, I mean, I think, I don't know, but I think these are probably VQ headers. Just all kinds of little stuff laying around, knuckles, intake stuff. We've just been cleaning up, guys. So, I told you I was going to run you through here, run you back here, and... Look at everything we've got going on. Everything we've got done. I mean, these totes aren't full, but we're kind of organizing them. So this one's H-series parts, this one's K-series parts, and that one's B-series parts. So we're kind of trying to organize and get a handle on everything we've got going on. It's pretty awesome, though. I mean, now that I've got, I've got to get this table. This is supposed to be my workbench. It's my transmission table, my engine building table. This is my table. So in the mix of, I think it's, Mostly this stuff, but there's another gear stack somewhere. I mean, it could be this gear stack too, though, because that definitely looks. I it's hard for me. I, I don't know. These are both F series. One of them is a uh, flay spaded gear set, and I need to figure out which one it is, and I need to get to the shop so we can build it and finish it. But I don't know which one it is, man. And I told them that, and I'm. <laughs> they'll help me. They'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll get it taken care of when we when they get down here to. To show me the way but i i've been cleaning a ton and we've got all this coming together really really well really really well kind of collecting stuff i've been collecting stuff over here like stuff that i need to take to the shop and stuff we've got some gas cans some good boxes a lot of old pictures and stuff tons of old pictures and stuff here i gotta get this stuff off this because there's no glass on this one anymore. This old Luke Rally picture. My dad's first nine second pass was 9.8 at 148. Look, a race my dad sponsored, 2010. His Infinity, he is Infinity certified. It's his certification. All kinds of cool little stuff. What's this one? This one looks rad. I like the look at this one. Special thanks to PFI Performance. Bandamere Speedway, boys, back in 98. 98, guys, that's what I'm talking about, right there. Special thanks, that's awesome. That's the year I was born. I just put that together, that's so sick. This shirt right here, hanging up, is the first Sport Compact import race shirt. The first one, that's it right there. I have the second one in my room. I'm allowed to wear the second one. But the first one hangs up. The first one is there. Isn't that awesome? I think that's pretty awesome that that's the first Sport Compact shirt. I feel like, I mean, it shouldn't be hanging on the rack back here, though. It should be hanging in his room or something. But hanging way up there keeps it safer. I mean, I kind of got an exhaust barely touching it right now, but it's good. It's safe. It's pretty awesome, though. Woo -woo! Dude, this is awesome. 
Love going through parts and looking at stuff. Trying to find stuff. It's kind of honestly one of my favorite things to do. Let's try and find parts. Add to my collection. Because I've been collecting over here. I have been. I've collected some stuff for the Ready G. That's kind of what I've been collecting for. Um, just because most of the stuff for my CRX, I would love. It's all. I'm all trying to be brand new with that bad boy. So, just kind of collecting parts for the EG. Throw it together. Get it done. Hopefully, maybe we'll make the next PSC I race with it. I'm not quite sure, but. That's a nice goal to have, and I'd like to meet that goal. Just, you know, even if, even if I put, you know, even if I put a stock B-Series in it, and we make 300 horsepower, the fact that we made the event, it's the, it's the good part. That's, that's the, what we want to do. We want to make the event. So, it's pretty awesome, man. Looks like we got a bunch of zip ties. Bunch of zip ties. See, that's all the little stuff I need to take to the shop, though, you know? That's all the little stuff. We got a big PFI banner right here. It would be nice to I think, probably hang it on the door or on the ceiling or on the walls. We got a Clutch Masters banner over there. Honda one needs to go to the shop. You know, just a bunch of little stuff, man. It's pretty awesome, though. We, we did a lot. We completely emptied out the storage unit. So we shouldn't... I, we didn't completely empty it out. There's one engine in there. A BMW V8. All right, I could not lift that, okay? So there's one engine in there. Other than that, it's about ready to go. I mean, we're gonna have Jamie swing by with Trey Trey and the engine hoist, and we're gonna jack it up, drop it on, and we're gonna roll out, and then we'll be able to move out of the storage unit, we'll have everything out, and uh, that'll be a huge feat that we, we've conquered. So I'm excited about that, really excited about that. But, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video, enjoyed the day, hung out, we chatted, we got the CRX going. They're going to tune out in the morning, and then Brett's going to come pick it up. But thank you guys for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe down below. This is Goodbill. Peace out, guys.